Hi, I'm Danny and these are my Diecast Disasters. So, one of my favourite TV shows when I was a kid growing up in the 80s would have to have been the Dukes of Hazard. The crazy car chases, huge unrealistic jumps, and the idea that you could get away from the police if you just outran them all seemed pretty realistic to me when I was young. In this video, I'm going to be restoring an Ertl Boss Hogs Cadillac. I believe these were produced around 1981. You could get them in a set with the other cars from the series, the police car, the General Lee, and I think maybe Daisy Duke's Jeep and Skeeter's truck. I know I had one of these sets when I was a kid. Taking a look at this example, we can see it is pretty grubby and the paint is a bit worn. The interior plastic is broken, the windscreen's pretty worn and grubby, and the horns are missing off of the front. It just so happens that when I got this model, I happened to get another one with it, which is lucky because this one doesn't have a broken interior, but it does seem to be a different version. The casting is slightly different. You can see the doors are surface relief, whereas on the other casting they flush. The interior actually sits a little bit lower. And you can see that the bases are different. I have a suspicion that the flush door casting is the older one, so that's the one I'm going to restore. I start by drilling out the rivet posts. If anyone's spent much time around these little models, you would be aware that they are not of a high quality. Here I'm being very careful not to break the flimsy plastic base while I try to pry it off of the rivet post. Some more rivets holding the interior in. A little prying and the interior just snapped. Last, I remove the broken ball horn from the front. Luckily, inside the other model, they haven't riveted it, so it came apart easy and there's no damage. The windscreen is in much better condition as well, so I'll be using these parts to replace the ones from the other model. To remove the chrome from the base, I'm going to use some caustic soda in some hot water. Just drop the piece in and leave it for a few minutes and the chrome should come straight off. Remember never to touch the caustic solution as it will give you a burn. Here is the base with the chrome removed. As it's all a bit flimsy, I'm going to drill out the holes a tiny bit larger so that the model goes back together a bit more easily. I also tidy up the rivet posts with my rotary tool.
the replacement interior fits in there nicely. Some poly stripper is used to strip paint from the casting. Next I give it a tidy up with a wire brush on my rotary tool, removing any oxidation and any remaining paint. Stubborn paint patches are dealt to with some steel wool. Now that it's all clean, we can take a closer look at the casting. It's really not very good, this one. Especially this side. It's quite pitted. But it's not from corrosion. I just think it's the original quality of the casting. As this is a restoration and not a custom, I'm just going to be leaving it as it is. I'm going to use some Tamiya Grey Primer on this one to help smooth out the bodywork. The body is then painted white and given a coat of gloss clear and the base is painted in chrome and also given a coat of clear. Moving on to the plastic parts, they're quite filthy so the first thing I'll do is take them inside to my sink and give them a wash in some hot soapy water. Here they are after a wash, you can see that the interior is actually looking pretty good. Also this windscreen is looking quite good, I just end up giving it a quick polish. Here is the little centre part for the horns at the front. I'm going to fix them with this wire. I give it a slight bend and then I cut a couple of short lengths and glue them on. I then make some little balls out of putty and these are glued on to the ends of the wires. As far as I can see from pictures that I looked up, this is what the original horns looked like. Once these had fully cured, I painted them brown and then gave them a coat of gloss clear. Lastly, to tidy up the wheels, I looked through both sets of wheels and I've kept one set from the original car and then taken one set from the other car. This wheel is a little bit rough but as we can see, the wheel from the original car that I'm restoring is even worse. I give them a wash in some hot soapy water. I use some emery paper to give the axles a bit of a clean up. I then detail the rims with some Molotow Chrome. As these wheels were a little scuffed and faded, I'm going to give them a dip in some self-shining floor polish. And here are all our parts, refurbished, repainted and ready to go back together.
before we take a look at the finished car, let's take a moment to be reminded of what we started with. A very scruffy looking Boss Hog Cadillac. It's missing its front horns. The interior is cracked and broken and the windscreen is so filthy and faded you can't even see through it. I can't imagine the boss is going to be very happy with this diecast disaster. And here it is, our restored Ertl Boss Hogs Cadillac. Now looking much better with a nice new white paint job, cleaned fixed interior and repaired cow horns at the front. The base and wheels have also been re-chromed. It's in perfect condition for the Boss Hog to go and get a bucket of fried chicken with. So I hope you enjoyed this restoration. I'm sure a lot of you owned these toys as kids. I know I did. They are not really of high quality so I can't imagine they were terribly expensive. And even if you never owned the toys, I'm sure most of us have spent many long hours enjoying the Dukes of Hazard. I'll definitely try to get my hands on the other cars in this collection and restore those as well. While we take a look at some images of the boss's Cadillac outside the courthouse, I'll just take a moment to welcome all of my new subscribers and say a massive thanks to everyone for the awesome comments and likes on my videos. Thanks heaps. And a specially big thanks to my awesome Patreon supporters, Matchbox Garage, Dan, Eric and Eileen, Diecast Pirate and William thank you. If you'd like to help support the channel you can check out my Patreon page. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video please like, share and subscribe.